Good morning. We have some exciting news today. Finally, we have gotten the first Apollo in stock. This is going to be Joseph Sazura's airplane for the World Championships in uh, Australia. And uh, I'm going to do a small video just to kind of highlight some of the, the features of the airplane, uh, how Joseph, what his intentions were when he designed the airplane, what our intentions are as far as uh, sales and setup and uh, offering really the most competitive price and uh, the best products on the market in this price category. The factory and I have gone through a couple of years of improvements on the finished quality and really the latest models for the last year have really been improved. Uh, we, we realize where our price point is and we're trying to raise the quality. Uh, get a much better uh, overall weight and um, uh, strength with the whole setup. I'd like to talk a little bit about the airplane what Joseph's intentions are. It's designed mostly, mainly for the Contra, but it can be flown as a single prop. But if you look at the back of the airplane, you can see the raised uh, deck area in the back, 16 inches or nearly 16 inches at the back. If you're flying with a Contra, you want stability. The way Joseph set up this airplane and designed it, these uh, leading edges going into the stabilizers, uh, the stabilizer size themselves, the size of the fin and the rudder are all meant to stabilize the airplane. His philosophy was a little bit different than the one that I approach, but I like it. it it's a little bit of uh, contrast to my design style, and I'm glad they include it in our fleet. The wingspan on this airplane is 67 inches. They're smaller than average, and his intentions are to have a really good snapping airplane and instead of stabilizing it with wingspan and the wing area, he's going to stabilize it in the rear of the airplane and do his best to stabilize it in the rear of the airplane. And I like the approach. Flying F3A, you have to be flexible. You have to be flexible on time. You have to be flexible with your batteries. You have to be flexible with uh, your equipment setup because it's one thing to fly two known sequences, one a little tougher than the other in heavy winds, but for example, when uh, the Argentina World Championships came up, there was near 40 mile an hour winds. Some of the competitors couldn't compete that made the finals because they didn't have enough battery. This airplane kind of is a smaller airplane than what's currently on the market as far as wingspan, which reduces drags, the drag of the airplane. The slim profile of the airplane also reduces drag. This allows you, uh, if you're an F3A pilot, to not worry about how much battery you're going to have left on the end of an unknowns in heavy winds. If you're not flying F3A, you can fly 4,500 packs and not be afraid of running out of power, uh, doing AMA, model, AMA class pattern or doing FAI class pattern. Another one of, ben one of the benefits of reducing the size of the wingspan is reducing the weight in construction. You know, I get some complaints from the modelers about always trying to make weight, you know, having to buy the lightest equipment. F3A pushes the boundaries. They push their boundaries with weight, size, and, and many other things. So you have to take in, into account the factory's ability to, to produce the airplane. It's one thing for me to personally produce an airplane and make weight, but when this model goes into production, they get fat. It's just part of the, the modeling uh, production process. So we took some of that account into account whenever this airplane was designed and reduced some of the size of the wing. The size of the fuselage, for instance, is two inches narrower than the Alchemy Pro. A lot of thought went into building the airplane, designing the airplane, trying to figure out how to appease every aspect of producing this model on a continual basis. Generally, models have about a three-year lifespan. So you have to hit the mark right off the way, right off the bat, and I, I think we've done it with this airplane. From the finished quality to the overall design of the airplane, and uh, the ability to produce it consistently without any uh, weight issues, 
you're going to be able to run any system you want, whether it's a contra or a single prop drive. Uh, all of my models that I produce are set up with my, um, I guess you would call it my CK Aero setup, which allows you to run a contra or a single blade electric setup. Uh, I'm the first designer that has been able to do this and produce models like this. And I see recently that some of the other designers are also doing it now. One of the neat things about this airplane is the scheme. As a modeler, you look at the flight line and everybody has a red airplane because it's the most visible scheme. Red and pink, I think in my mind, have probably the best color signature in the air overall. Uh, Joseph kept the scheme as simple as possible with contrast. This does two things. It's easier to produce and it's easier to see. E being easier to produce allows me to keep the cost down being easier to see allows you to see the airplane, obviously. Straight lines are good on an airplane, but a lot of times you have to look at the shape of the airplane and, and try to enhance the shape of the airplane. And I believe Joseph has captured that with his scheme. And you can take this same palette, this color palette or, or outline and change the colors at no cost. If you want to do a custom scheme, of course, we'll do a custom scheme at a cost. It's $500 to do a custom scheme. But I believe this is an appealing and satisfying scheme. And if you just want to make a few color swaps, your endless is what you can do with it. I'm going to flip the airplane over and we're going to see the bottom scheme, which is also very visible. And it's a contrast from the top. The landing gear are the same landing gear we use on the Alchemy Pro. They're plug-in style was captured in a bridge set up inside the airplane. It's a composite box with one screw on each side that holds the landing gear in place. And what this does, it actually enables the gear themselves to flex and take a lot of the load off the box. They do fail, nothing lasts forever, but I think it overall it's a better approach and uh, it's more durability to the airframe. The airplane's an all composite construction uh, made with Airx and uh, fiberglass with some carbon fiber reinforcement. The nose ring is installed. It's a phenolic nose ring. It's not always accurately squared to the outside, but it gives you a good attachment point to run pretty much any front mount system you want to run, uh, you know, whether it's a Contra or a single, single prop drive. Ailerons are hinged in the mold, and uh, this system has been perfected by Extreme, and we've been using it since the Shinden days. Uh, back. 2005 so it's proven good sometimes they're a little stiff but they will usually wear in the elevators are also composite there's an adjuster in the front on the stabilizer but the elevators are top hinged and this gives a very free elevator setup I'll uh, show you a little bit here about the plug-in system setup but this is the elevator setup here and you can see this is skin hinge it's very lightweight construction, and there's a adjuster in the front. This gives great stability in the back for wear, so you won't have to worry about your stabilizers wearing because you have such a wide frame set up. It's very lightweight. The rudder itself is a separate uh, component, and you use four uh, hinge points or uh, rollboard hinges and glue them in place, so you have a good free range of moment, uh, motion at about 40 to 43 degrees of travel, which is plenty because the size of this rudder is enormous. And uh, I hope you enjoy the new features of this airplane because it's quite different from what we've been selling in the past of my own designs. And I'm glad to reach out to a different designer and get their impressions on what they wanna see, how they wanna approach their setup. Uh, somebody as a world caliper flyer as Joseph, who's been I think to four world championships, maybe fives, and also till a few years ago was the reigning junior champion. Very promising up and coming pilot for the US. And uh, he'll be flying this thing in Australia. We really hope you appreciate all the effort and the work that went into this design. One last thing I'll mention, these are live exits that'll get cut out. Instead of having holes on the bottom, there'll be holes on the side behind the wings. And you can also cut these out here in the fuselage on the top. Some people will, will use both of them. Um, we're not sure how effective they are and we'll, we'll probably be doing some testing on that. And overall layout of the airplane is very similar 
to the Alchemy Pros made by the same manufacturer, so you'll see there's a lot of similarities. The canopy is one piece, very lightweight. You have plenty of access in there to put your equipment, plenty of room to put your battery trays wherever you want to put them. And um, overall, I think the thought process that went into the design of the airplane and the construction of the airplane will be appreciated by anyone who purchases it. It sells for $3,800. This airplane comes either from me if I'm going to do a setup for you, or you can have it directly drop shipped from the factory at no additional shipping costs. Thanks for watching the video. Of course, I'm not a professional video maker, but I do have a true love for F3A and designing F3A airplanes, manufacturing them. You can see we have quite a few releases coming. This is one of five. It's the first one that's come. Chip Hyde's biplane is next. AC's is right behind it. So we'll have the probably uh, the most active release in F3A right now with releasing five airplanes. Please visit our website at ckarrow.net. Brett and I would appreciate if you drop us a line, say hello. If you have any questions, if you have any uh, complaints, just drop us a line, let us know. But I think anybody who purchases this airplane, there will be no complaints, it will be all smiles.